man. Today, man, I want to talk to you about going out there and signing up for your VA ID card. Now, what this VA ID card is all about is something totally separate from your actual VA health card that you have. This the the VIT card is separate from that. And in order for a veteran to um get discounts um or have proof for your discounts, you need to go get this VIT card. So the question you may be asking is, how do I apply? Well, in order for you to apply, you have to make sure that you have your social security card, a digital copy of your DD-214, your DD-256, your DD-257, or NGB-22 um, that you can upload, and a copy of your current and valid you know, government ID, such as your driver's license, passports, or state-issued identification card. And one of the things that they want to make sure that you have um, – as far as when you um, upload a picture, your picture have to show a full view of you from front on um, from the front of your face to your neck with no hat, head coverings or headphones covering or uh, cast um shadows on your hairline or face. So they don't want to see shadows on your face when it comes to um you doing this. And they said it must be cropped from your shoulder um up much like a passport photo. So what they want to see is they want to say for your shoulder up. They want to make sure that um they that all that's visible, and then also um they said that you have to um show you with your eyes open in the natural expression. So what they want you to do is make sure that your eyes are open and you're looking straight for it, not with your eyes closed, not with your eyes squinted. But they want to make sure that they can get a um, full visual of your eyes. And they said be taking the clothes you are wearing for a driver's license. So they don't want you sitting in a white beater. They don't want you wearing um a shirt with derogatory things on it i know it's from the shoulder up but they want to make sure that you um take a picture where you can look as professional as you can and then they say um they say be in a square um be a square size and have on a white up on plain color background with no scenery or other people in the photo so as you see back there behind me i got this football thing in there it couldn't be like that i would have to turn this camera right here and Make sure that it's clear, plain, with nothing in my background. Now, um, they they said that they wanted to be white or plain color, so I'm figuring that this purple behind me would be okay. But if not, if you're not truly, truly sure, then what I would recommend you do is try to find the best place that you can that um don't have nothing in the background that will be showing people or anything that um would basically put you in a situation where you won't be able to um send them the correct photo or when you send them the, your photo, your photo gets rejected because it's not what they asked. And it says a veteran must meet certain criteria of eligibility for the VIT card, including both of these requirements. So the first requirement is you have to um serve on active duty in the reserve or in the National Guard, including the Coast Guard. And then it says you have to be... um. You have to be a recipient of an honorable di um, general discharge under honorable condition. If you're a veteran who received an other than honorable bad conduct or dishonorable character of discharge, that person is not eligible for a veteran ID card. And if you're a veteran who has an uncharacteristic or unknown discharge status, the VA must verify that person is eligible before approving an application. The VA must, uh, the veteran must provide a copy of his or her discharge paper when applying for a VIT card to prove their character of discharge. So in order for you to get this stuff, you have to make sure that, you know what I'm saying, you have everything that they're asking for. And right quick, what I want to do is I want to show you the actual site as to where I got this from, which is VA.gov. I went on this site, um, looking through my email and I saw this and I thought it'd be something interesting and cool to make sure that, um, the veterans I know know about this because one thing I do understand is a lot of veterans don't know about a lot of different things going on out there. So I want to make sure that I'm giving you everything that you need to know. So if you look here, um, you can see exactly, um, the actual site where all this information came from. What I wanted to do was I didn't want you to have to go through and read all this stuff because I understand sometimes as vets, we don't like to go through and read all that stuff. So I wanted to take some of the fine points out of it and basically, you know, give you um 
the information that you need to know. And what I am going to do is I'm going to post this in the bottom in the um in the bottom section so that you can actually click on the link. And one thing I also want to tell you, um, I tried to go on there today and actually apply for my VIT card, but I guess the system is very slow right now. So because of that, um, I wasn't able to actually apply today, but I will at a later time do that. And um, I must keep trying and trying and see because what I wanted to do was I wanted to take you through a step-by-step -step and show you how to actually do it so that you're not confused and lost. Um, and I think what I could do is I could show you real quick how it works. Um, again, they wouldn't allow me to go but so far, but I'll show you from what I tried to do earlier. So what I went on and did was I clicked on, let me go back. I clicked where his, it said click here to apply and log in. I clicked there and I went to apply and it says, am I eligible? So right here in this box on va.gov, which is where you can apply for this at, or you can apply through the link that I'm going to put in the bottom. And, um, Right here, it asks you to either sign in or create an account. Well, because I already have an account, um, it made it so easy for me to do it. Now, one thing I will say is I do have a DS log on, um, log on, log on, but for some reason I don't know how I locked myself out and I'm not able to access it. So, like my last video, I told y'all about all my ten um benefits for veterans that I love. I love the ID me because ID me allows me to sign in to everything. And like I was shown on the two step verification, um, you can use that feature on there to actually, you know, do what you have to do. So I'm going to click right here and sign in. And then it's going to send it to my phone number that I have listed on here. And then it's going to send me, you know what I'm saying? A code to my phone that is good for one time usage. And then I'm going to click in this code and it's going to allow me to access what I was trying to show you. So now I'm waiting for the site to come up and then here it is where you can apply at. So what I did, um, was, was I put apply for my veteran ID card. And once I did that, they asked me about the information. They, they sit here, they, um, going over the information that I need to make sure and ensure that I have in order for me to apply. I go push or uh, request a veteran ID card. And as you can see, the site is down for some reason. I don't know what's going on with it right now, but I do understand and know that, you know, the server could be um, down right now and they could be doing a lot of maintenance work on it. You know, it could just be different things going on with that. But what I want you to do is make sure that you go on here and you apply for your VIT card because, again, the VIT card is separate from the Veterans Health Care ID, which is a, a which a veteran receives when they enroll into the veteran health care. So the card that you got when you enrolled in to um the VA to receive health care is a total separate card. So please go apply for this, man. Don't miss out on your benefits and entitlements that the VA have out there for you. This has been another episode with your boy, brother Vince, for Vet Talk. Vet Talk out. Mm -hmm.